guys, what's going on? Me and back with a brand new video, and today I'm doing a review on the LEGO Styles Hoff ATST. So, I'm gonna start, i just gonna start by saying this set retails for £45, or I believe $50 in the USA, maybe, but in good old England it's £45. But I saw this on sale for £35, so hint, hint, good time to buy the set. I have two of them, I know, which is too good. Anyway. First up is you have the Hoff Imperial AT no not the Imperial Hoff Viper Probe Droid. This is quite cool if I do say so myself. It's got the silk the see through the clear bar going through, so you can stand it up and it looks like it's floating even though it's not. It does come with like a weird white triangle to pretend to be snow, but it's easier to take it off and you can stick it on studs. But yeah. I mean, it's got these hand things which can move like this because you lift it up, you can move them. This one's a little blaster, you can move it. This one's just a weird hand claw thing, go like that, and then this one's just some weird thing that you can also move. But yeah, so now you've got this here which can have, you've got weird cameras antenna you've got one blaster sticking out here this thing if you wanted to know can indeed spin but yeah it can spin that's great anyway that thing's really annoying when you use one hand to review now here we have hoff atst pilot with some white macro binoculars and a black blaster pistol so here we've got some nice um, leg printing. You've got like one color and then above it's one color. It's not dual molded, dual molded. It's just two different colors. Although the little waist bit here is white and then you've got this notch here, which is white and then it's blue on each side. But it's still a cool look. You've got white here, you've got like a coat almost. I mean, you've got a belt around it. It's quite cool. Then you've got back printing. It's got um, the, this General Veers looking helmet. It's got goggles on it. It's cool. It's got a strap, chin strap. And it's got a second face where he's a little bit more angry. Anyway, moving on. We have our light side characters. We have um, Chewbacca, um, who, looks, who has um, snow speckles. Looks like he's got snow on him. And he's got toe printing with snow. If you ignore the toe printing, it looks like you just flick some white paint on him. Yeah, he's even got a little bit on his back and he's got his vandalier, bandolier, obviously. Just a cool Chewbacca. And then um, he's got his bowcaster stud shooter, specially made for him. Quite cool. You press that and it shoots a red blaster thing. Nothing special. Now, moving on, last but not least, of our characters or figures. Well, technically there's three figures and one brick built thing, but you could use a figure or something. Probe droid. So here we have a Rebel Trooper. Fortunately, just plain white. I would have appreciated some printing. Like if I get a different Rebel Trooper. Um. No, you can't find one. Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I we'll have to give a closer look minute here we are hiding from me but yeah leg printing similar to that would have been cool anyway it's got um a white backpack got the cool like um coat thing got that red looking thing on it it's got the stormtrooper blaster it's got a face and then the other side it's got another face hidden my backpack i'll take the head off so you can see the other side. That head is not wanting to come off. There you go. So you got a smile. Then the... God. Much angrier side. And one thing to mention with the cat is you have it like this, but you can also... So if we put this figure back together, we can see that these goggle things here can come off the cap, but I'm not going to go through that, I'm just going to cut to it in the other position.
Now we've got the goggles on her face, covering her eyes. Well, you can see through her eyes, covering her nose and back not. Looks like goggles. What surprise? Goggles look like goggles. Got grey hands, looking quite cool. Anyway, this is just another rebel figure to add to your collection. Anyway, we got this boy to go over. So, pick it up like this. Right? It works fine to pick it up like that. And now, let's start down with feet. It's got cool detail, and I reckon instead of doing like one thing, they just decided to build it so they could add more pieces or whatever. But it looks quite cool. And they've got these, these legs are much longer and skinnier than the other ones, but its head is a little bit shorter, so it's about the same height as you should vince the um, Mandalorian one, for example. But yeah, um, it's got quite cool design. It's very reminiscent of the Mandalorian one, just different colour scheme and just overall probably a better build. Now I've got these front bits here, which you can move pew pew pew. It's got two swing loaded shooters, which to fire is on the other side. We just pick this up, spin it, you push those things that back down you see my pinky here just push that down now one thing to note is these legs can move like in the furthest down position just lean them forward slightly down now then the one i like it is one click up on each leg but if you have it like this two clicks up and one on its lowest you can kind of make it look like it's running but it's a bit difficult, but you have to get two hands and get proper precise. But these can move if you wanted. Go like this, then go like that. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Anyway, I'm gonna cut to me putting this down. So now it's got these side handles which can move up and down. Got a nice cool build, relatively strong. Move up and down. We can do a 360 if you want to do. No, this one's the same. You can go like this, but this one's a lot weaker. You have to, if you move it, you have to hold it like this. Pinch fairly tight and then move it like that. This can move up and down. Now it's got these as the little lookout ports, as you see, as you see on the Mandalorian season two one, or was it season no season one? Um, but these are fully sealed, so you can't actually see out of them. But let's pretend a mini fit could. And now something to note is this one can go full 360. It's got some cool detailing here. Now let's spin it round. You've got this, which can allow you to spin it full 360. And now it's got some a fan on each side. It's got some vent, like just some cool detailing. Now it's heads backwards because I can't bother to spin it. You can lift this up as a little like access port, and you can have your figure sticking out of it if you wanted with a pistol. But you can lift this whole thing up for some access to the interior, which I'm going to uh, put my minifigure in and its weapons. So, as you can see, the black clip is where you stick the black blast the pistol, and the white clip is where you stick the white macro binoculars. Funny that, isn't it? Uh, it's colour-coded, so yeah, bear that in mind. Anyway, now the figure sits in. It's not a stud, it's just got that kind of piece there, as you can see. And a grill underneath it, you just slide it in and it fits. You've got the classic printed control panel, every set has one of those. Now, what to notice, to note, um, this is held on there at that joint, if you can see how it works. Then it's got a red water bottle lid, which is what it's actually for. Which then, if you look, it has little thing slots on it, and it stays like that. So it's quite a cool set design. It's fairly strong, but the head's probably the weakest part if you were to, like, drop it. Like, yeah, the head's the weakest part if you were to drop it. Like I said. <laughs> it's kind of funny now. Got a half-broken Lego set. Oh, Yeah, you can see the war boils in more action. And you got this handle. Anyway, that's going to do for this review. Weird headless ATST. Anyway, I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace.